Bum, bum. Greetings all, Last Outrider here, and I know you're all happy to see me make another video. This time, I'm talking about the Dune trailer that just came out. And I'm thinking now that I'm going to start making videos about just whatever that comes to my mind instead of only 40K, because in another video, I'm going to tell you that I think 40K 10 years from now is going to be remarkably similar to Disneyland. Yes, 40K will no longer be grim dark because that's just not as profitable as being family friendly. Back to Dune. Now, <clears throat> I like Dune. I do. I like the stories. It's not my favorite sci-fi story, mostly because I think the writing on it particularly in the beginning of the of the novels of the stories was was a little sloppy um, which I will talk about later in the video but people are not going to like this movie <clears throat> more specifically enough people are not going to like this movie that you think people don't like this movie and I will tell you why it has to do with Frank Herbert's writing style. What do you mean his writing style? Well, unlike Tolkien, which if given enough time would describe every single pube on Sauron's scrotum, Frank Herbert left a lot of details to the imagination. It was a very subjective style of writing. Because of this, you will never get it right. How can you? For example, how can you get the stain from the juice of Safur's red lips correctly? You don't know. What type of red is it? Is it like a vein blue purplish red uh, uh, red color is it is it is it a bright fluorescent lipstick color we don't know you'll never know i'm sure everybody imagines it in every different way the book doesn't tell you you won't know what the stain looks like how does dr yui break the unbreakable conditioning what is the unbreakable conditioning? We have a general idea, but we won't know. Oh, they kidnapped his wife. Come on. Okay. <laughs> in, 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 in hundreds and hundreds of years, the, 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 the Sulk school never thought that, hey, maybe they'll kidnap somebody's family and that will break our conditioning. Huh. let's take that into account when we create our uncorruptible doctors. Yeah, obviously there's more to the story here. We don't know what it is. It's never going to be fully fleshed out. How does it look like to hate a rat and a cat and strap them together to create an antidote for Thufur Hewitt's poison? I don't know. I don't even know how that poison was supposed to work. What does it look like when Doctor when you breathe out a poison gas from Doctor Huey, uh, uh, not from the tooth that um, Doctor Huey uh, put into the Duke's mouth? Right? What's it gonna look like? Well, in reality, it probably wouldn't look like anything, really. But in a movie context. It's probably gonna come out like a bright green cloud that's gonna float into the air and form into a skull and crossbones shape to give you an idea that this is a poison cloud. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? What does a hunter killer look like? In my mind, when I read the book, a hunter killer looks like a floating razor blade, okay? With a, which can only be, be perceived by the slight you know, distortion and blurriness caused by this, uh, the suspenser field. How are you gonna put that in a movie? What is that gonna look like? 
a small blurry dot is now moving across the slowly across the screen wonderful storytelling yeah not gonna happen do you see what I'm saying it's got to fail because even in stories that we know what characters looked like fans didn't like doing it look at the the um hunger games who was that that the that young character the uh the little girl who who climbed the trees right and everybody was surprised that she she wasn't european and the books flat out say she's not but they're still upset about it Ugh, exactly so if you can get actual descriptions upsetting fans imagine what you can do when there is no description this will never work for so many people because they cannot accept that it is a subjective description all you're going to get is Villeneuve's concept of Dune and that concept is going to be offensive to some people I envision the Fremen as these um, Bedouin tribesmen traveling through the desert. I think that's pretty much, pretty accurate. I saw the still suits as being white and beiges color, dyed orange by the spice melange. But every single movie I've seen makes them black, dusted over with white. Probably so that you could actually see all of the details of the suit that they wanted you to see. But in my idea, I don't know why you'd want to wear a black skin type sweat absorbing suit in the middle of the desert. Eh. That's me. Um, for me, the, the, the people on Arrakis are for the most part, supposed to always look like they're on the edge of diving, dying from dehydration, unless they're rich. Um, the Fremen uh, it talked about how, you know, off-worlders had that plump, their skin had the plump look of, of a hydrated person, which would then indicate that they had a sallow gaunt kind of beef jerky look right um of somebody like i said who has been dried out essentially left in the sun too long if you will i mean the sun is punishing to the skin so you can imagine what arrakis must do <clears throat> this is how i envisioned it now i don't believe it's going to show up on the screen that way by anyone because I'm being overly realistic and they want to be a little more stylized and I understand that and I can accept that and I can accept I'm just going to see one guy's vision of what Dune is going to be like not some canon story that must be accepted as infallible but I know that's not what fans think that's not how they're going to react. When they see this movie, they're going to lose their minds and want to kill the director. But there you go. So in a nutshell, it's destined to fail. Now we get into the second part of this video, and that is this need to make unmakeable movies you know it started with the original dune back in the 80s unmakeable they said followed by what um lord of the rings unmakeable there it comes uh dirk gently's holistic detective agency unmakeable watchmen unmakeable um and now Dune again, equally unmakeable. And finally, The Foundation, seriously unmakeable. The Foundation is even more subjective than 
writing than Dune. Asimov's work, I, of all his, Asimov's work, the least likely one I expected to see made into a movie was the Foundation trilogy. I was really hoping they were going to start with something like Caves of Steel, which is screaming to be made into a movie. But no, everybody wants to do Foundation, even though the thing should should play like a history documentary. I mean, you want to understand what... what no. Yeah, it's... It's, <laughs> it's a hard slog to get through the book, much less how are they going to make this um, dynamic story for a screen. Now, back to Dune for a second. Um, the beginning of the book we were talking about seems half-assed. It seems like he wanted to write a preview book, but just didn't think that that would be interesting enough, but it's also too long to be a prologue. So he threw it in as the first few chapters of the book, but they really just don't fit the rest of the story. I mean, it's too little to give you an idea of what his life, of what the life was like before Arrakis, and too much to be a prologue. And the characters were really, like Dr. Yui is just an unexcusably one-dimensional character. I mean, really, it's like the worst murder mystery ever written. That's hyperbole, but seriously. I mean, everybody's like wondering like, oh my God, who betrayed the family? Hmm, maybe it was the guy that the book describes as being absolutely incapable of betraying anyone ever. Yes, I mean, in terms of if you're reading a mystery, if you have one character that's written and it literally their description as this guy cannot be the murderer under any circumstances ever, don't even consider it. And then, oh, shocker and twist of twists, he's the betrayer. Oh, it's Home Alone. Yeah, that was pretty much not much of a surprise for me um <clears throat> so what is this guy's view of dune gonna be okay that uh, uh, am i going to agree with all of it no um people are already talking about are they removing the islamic slash uh arab cultural trends from Arrakis? Probably. That's also probably because the director really has no clue of what those things are. And if he actually tried to do it, then everybody would be sitting there saying, you got 101 different things wrong when you tried to do this. So again, he's in a no-win situation. Am I going to enjoy the movie? Yes. I mean, it, it's plans to be two movies with, if it does successful, could be drawn out into three movies. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know, I, I really would like to see how he describes Alia, which is one of my favorite Probably my favorite character in the books is, is Alia as a kid. She becomes obnoxious in Children of Dune as an adult, but as a kid, she is definitely my favorite. And probably, I don't even know how you're going to get a six-year-old to play <laughs> a reverend mother uh, or, or a nine-year-old. It's just insane. Um... <laughs> they, the first movie I think did great and all they did was just have her say one line to the bear and ah, my brother's coming and that was good enough for me 
Uh, but um, yeah, you know, this is, well, we're going to see how she comes out in this. But it's, it's, in, it's here for entertainment. Be entertained. Or if it's more entertaining for you to be upset, then hey, be upset. Because you find that to be entertaining. But it's going to be a movie. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see it coming out. And I hope other unmakeable movies are coming out in the future, too. So, until next time, bye.